After practicing the stellar body refinement technique several times, a soldier came to inform him in the evening. Lu Xing, chief instructor is calling for you, please come over. When Lu Xing arrived, a voice came from the front. Lu Xing looked up and saw Dong Qingxue sitting. Hello, chief instructor. Dong Qingxue nodded at him and greeted. Come in. When Qin Xiaojun saw Lu Xing come in, his hand shook violently, and then his eyes stared straight at him, as if seeing aliens. Hello, Chief Instructor Qin. Lu Xing greeted him politely. Qin Xiaojun greeted Lu Xing to sit down, and said, Please come over, we mainly want to do a simple strength test for you, and then discuss something with you. There are professional testing instruments in Dong Qingxue's office. A blood tester, one for measuring the combat effectiveness index, and one he has never seen before. Dong Qingxue took a one-time blood collection needle, handed it to Lu Xing, and asked, Have you tested it yourself during this time? Lu Xing shook his head in denial. Dong Qingxue wondered, Isn't there a blood test device in the student dormitory? Lu Xing hesitated for a moment, then replied truthfully, I could not pierce my skin with the blood needle in the dorm. Qin Xiaojun next to him, when he heard this, pointed to Lu Xing and told Dong Qingxue, Let me just say, this kid has entered the third level and started to beat his muscles and bones. His skin is so hard. Without at that level of physical toughness, it would be impossible to break the records. Qingxue takes out the special blood collection needle. Dong Qingxue took out a new pack of blood needles from the drawer with a complicated expression and told Lu Xing, this is a blood collection needle specially prepared for fifth-level warriors. It should be able to pierce your skin. Lu Xing was thoughtful. It seemed that Dong Qingxue and Qin Xiaojun should both be fifth-level warriors. Otherwise, they would not be equipped with fifth-level blood needles. The needle of fifth-level blood needle was beautiful and bright gold, and it easily pierced the skin that Lu Xing had initially tempered in the advanced chapter of stellar body refinement technique. A drop of bright red blood rolled down the blood test tank, and the blue light dropped. Dong Qingxue and Qin Xiaojun unconsciously stared at the display screen of the blood tester. Soon, a value pops up on the display. 123.651 A slight inhalation sound came from Qin Xiaojun's mouth, and he couldn't help but sigh. I seem to have not seen such a young third-level warrior for almost ten years. Dong Qingxue's eyes also contained a hint of shock, but her expression was still calm. Come let's check your combat power index. Qin Xiaojun greeted Lu Xing. Lu Xing was not surprised by the result of his promotion to third-level martial artist. But how much combat power, he really can't estimate the specific value. I only know that it must have reached the fourth-level warrior but it is not clear how much it exceeds the minimum combat power standard of the fourth-level warrior. Just took this opportunity to test it together. Lu Xing walked to the instrument to test the combat effectiveness and took a deep breath. There seemed to be some fire in his eyes. Switch, breath of fire! In an instant, a flame exploded in Lu Xing's chest, and even his breathing became a little hotter. Breath of fire! The breath of flame was the earliest comprehension and the deepest comprehension in the advanced chapter of Lu Xing's practice natural breathing technique. But he never used it in combat. The breath of flame affected Lu Xing's whole body, and it seemed that hot currents were flowing along the blood in the blood vessels. Two hearts pounding. Divine Illumination Sutra, Breath of Fire, Perfect Boxing. Eight times the power of the stars. If I want to test, then go all out. Look at how much my current limit combat power has reached. Lu Xing aimed at the punch groove of the force measuring instrument and threw a punch. At this moment, his eyes were as bright as stars. Boom! A value pops up on the screen. 271920. Qin Xiaojun's expression was exaggerated as if someone had punched him hard in the stomach. Dong Qingxue was slightly better than him but her pupils that suddenly contracted betrayed her turbulent mood. A full combat power of more than 270,000. A terrifying number. Infinitely approaching the category of fifth-level warriors, even if this kid doesn't have the talent of a spiritual teacher, he is still a monster. Qin Xiaojun thought to himself. 
It took Dong Qingxue and Qin Xiaojun a long time to calm down the shock on their faces. You are now enough for the standard of a third-level official warrior. You have graduated from this camp. You can do whatever you like from now on. Qin Xiaojun walked towards Lu Xing and patted his shoulder and said, Thank you, Instructor Qin. Lu Xing replied. Dong Qingxue had turned on the printer in the office and said to Lu Xing, The military region is still qualified to assess the strength of the martial artist. I will give you a report. Go back to the Martial Arts Association, and then you can directly transfer the Martial Arts Association. The registration level has been raised. Thank you, Chief Instructor Dong. Dong Qingxue has signaled that it was okay, and then said to Lu Xing, Is it convenient to test your mental strength here? Lu Xing was stunned for a moment and subconsciously looked at the third instrument in the room that was placed with the blood measuring instrument. Just as he thought, Dong Qingxue walked up to the instrument and said, Yes, this is the instrument developed by the Spiritualist Association for the Professional Detection of Spiritual Strength. Dong Qingxue gently placed her hand on a raised pale yellow hexagonal crystal in the instrument. This is called an energy crystal. It is a special crystal, or and has strong adsorption to spiritual power. It was later developed to test the spiritual power of spiritual masters. During the test, you only need to concentrate and pour some of your mental energy into it. Like me. Dong Qingxue has said a strange light flashed in her eyes. Immediately afterward, the pale yellow crystals under her hands began to glow, emitting a beautiful warm yellow light. With the sound of the instrument prompting, two values pop up on the instrument display. Mental strength, 143.24t, purity of spiritual power, 4.2, your strength has improved again, and even the purity of your spiritual power has improved a lot. I remember that it was only after three o'clock last time. Qin Xiaojun came over, looked at the value on the instrument, and sighed. Dong Qinxue glanced at him and said lightly, Do you think I am you? Eat and wait to die every day. Qin Xiaojun jumped up. Dong Qinxue, you can insult me, but you can't insult my way of life. Lu Xing watched the conversation between the two from the side. He could see that whether it was Dong Qinxue or Qin Xiaojun, the family background should not be simple. In addition to being able to become a school officer at such a young age, and to serve as the chief and deputy chief instructors of a provincial training camp. Noticing Lu Xing's thoughtful gaze, Dong Qingxue realized that she and Qin Xiaojun were indeed acting a little bit dignified, and hurriedly coughed and straightened her posture, and said to Lu Xing, Come, come and try. Lu Xing nodded and walked to the instrument. Following Dong Qingxue's demonstration, he placed his hand on the pale yellow crystal column in the middle of the instrument. Qin Xiaojun also hurried over. Although Dong Qingxue made it clear to him, Lu Xing has an extremely powerful spiritual teacher talent, and his spiritual power is not even inferior to hers. But after all, it was not what I saw with my own eyes, and there were still many doubts in my heart. If you say that Lu Xing has half your strength, I will believe it, not weaker than you. I really can't accept it. Dong Qingxue glared at Qin Xiaojun, who was muttering, and said coldly, Don't disturb the test. Qin Xiaojun quickly closed his mouth and stared at the instrument obediently. At this time, Xing Lu had injected spiritual power into the pale yellow crystal in his hand as Dong Qingxue had taught him before. The crystals began to emit a warm fluorescent tube-like light without any temperature of their own. The tentacles were cold and Lu Xing seemed to be holding an icicle that could not be warmed. Soon, two values jumped out on the instrument. Dong Qingxue and Qin Xiaojun hurriedly looked up. Just a glance, the expressions of the two are like seeing a ghost. How can that be? This time, it was Dong Qingxue who cried out. Dong Qingxue stared at the two values on the instrument. Her beautiful eyes widened, filled with shock and incredible color. Mental strength! 113.56t, purity of spiritual power, 20.3. The first value is nothing. Dong Qingxue had already felt it when he was in the training hall. Lu Sheng's spiritual power was very strong, and he had entered the ranks of third-level spiritual masters. Now the test results came out, 
proving that her judgment was correct. What shocked Dong Qingxue was the second test result. Spiritual Purity 20.3 This means that Dong Qingxue compresses and purifies his current spiritual power by five times, which is almost the same as Lu Xing. But is this possible? It is extremely difficult to purify the spiritual power of the spiritual master, let alone increase it five times. As Qin Xiaojun said before, Dong Qingxue's spiritual purity has increased from more than three points to four points. Don't look at the increase of only a few tenths in the middle. But Dong Qingxue spent two full years of hard work. One can imagine how shocked Dong Qingxue was. At this time, Dong Qingxue's eyes on Lu Xing had completely changed. It before Dong Qingxue thought Lu Xing was a monster, a genius. So now she feels that the calm and handsome boy standing in front of her is a pervert, freak, and inhuman. The 17-year-old third-level spiritual teacher is already exaggerated, and the purity of spiritual power is five times that of an ordinary third-level spiritual master. Qin Xiaojun was quiet until now. After witnessing Lu Xing's psychic test, he started cursing out loud which made Qin Xue irritated. Dong Qin Xue smacked his head to stop his blabbering and quiet him down. Do you have a teacher? Did you learn the spiritual practice before? Dong Qin Xue stared at Lu Xing's eyes and asked quickly. Lu Xing hesitated for a moment, then nodded. Yes, I have a teacher. My teacher taught me a technique for cultivating spiritual power. Really? Dong Qin Xue's eyes relaxed a little when she heard Lu Xing's answer. It's normal to have a teacher. If Lu Xing doesn't have a teacher, he will get to this point entirely by talent. She really can't take it. The purity of my original spiritual power was not so high. After cultivating the cultivation method given by the teacher, I broke through twice before reaching this level. Lu Xing thought to himself, That's enough to prove that your talent is powerful. Dong Qingxue couldn't help sighing. Even though that is enough to prove how strong your talent is, but it shouldn't take long for you to awaken your talent, right? It's been less than three months, Lu Xing said to Dong Qingxue. After hearing their eyes were wide open. How can one able to achieve this much in mere three months? It defies the logic. Dong Qingxue looked at Lu Xing with a bit of envy in her eyes. As soon as he wakes up, he has a second level or even close to third level mental strength, and the purity is so high. Even the Spiritualist Association has been out for decades. Not many monsters like you. There is also an association for spiritual teachers? Lu Xing couldn't help but ask. You do not know? Dong Qingxue was a little surprised, but quickly reacted. It is estimated that your teacher did not tell you on purpose, for fear of affecting your practice. After all, the more things you understand— the more distracting thoughts will affect the purity of your spiritual power. But now that it's mentioned, I'll add a few words to you by the way. Spiritualists also have associations, but not many people know them, and their locations are more hidden than ordinary warrior associations. The strength of the spiritual teacher can also be officially recognized. You are now qualified to participate in the certification examination of spiritual masters. If necessary, I can write you a letter of recommendation. Of course, under the premise that your teacher does not object. Dong Qingxue gave Lu Xing a locket as her token that will help him in registering as a psychic. My teacher should not object. I have never seen what he looks like. Every time I accept his teaching, the way is very mysterious. Lu Xing didn't blink. He has mastered the art of making up such nonsense. Every sentence is true but every sentence is very different from the truth. Your teacher is probably an amazing person. Dong Qingxue was in awe. This can be seen from the attitude towards Lu Xing and the way of teaching Lu Xing. With such a powerful talent as Lu Xing, ordinary people would have long held it up as a golden lump after they discovered it. The teacher in Lu Xing's mouth is still developing freely by him. Didn't even want to show up. Only characters with a very high-level pattern can behave in this way. Thinking of this, Dong Qingxue felt a lot better. Sure enough, there are no geniuses for no reason in this world. Even Lu Xing with a simple background has a powerful and mysterious spiritual teacher behind him. Lu Xing knew his current level of mental power, 
and it was difficult to explain using talent as a reason. It is better to admit it generously. And in a sense, Lu Xing didn't lie there. He indeed has a teacher. His teacher came from ten thousand years in the future. The strength reaches the eleventh level and the name is Duan Feng. I invited you to come today, mainly to discuss a few things with you. Dong Qingxue calmed down a little, regained her composure, and sat down at the desk. Qin Xiaojun also put away his condescending appearance and sat down to the side. Two chief instructors, please speak. The first thing. Dong Qingxue gave Qin Xiaojun a look. Qin Xiaojun took out a bank card from his pocket and handed it to Lu Xing. There are five million here, your number one in this training camp, plus the extra reward for outstanding performance. Although the training camp is not over yet. But Lu Xing's performance today shows that his dominance has been completely established. Don't be dissatisfied, this is already the maximum amount we can apply for. The Eastern Military Region has always been tight on military expenses, and most of the funds for this training camp are spent on the daily three-day service provided to you little guys. Qin Xiaojun glanced at Lu Xing and said, You kid is famous for being able to eat in the entire training camp. If you count the money you ate, it would add up to ten million. Are you kidding? So those meals were that expensive. Doesn't that mean I would not be able to eat that again? Lu Xing thought to himself. Dong Qingxue glared at Qin Xiaojun and said to Lu Xing, Student Lu Xing, although the money is a little less, it is enough to prove the sincerity of our eastern military region. Lu Xing caught the word eastern military region in Dong Qingxue's words and said thoughtfully, Is Eastern military trying to recruit me? Bingo, you got it. Qin Xiaojun said to Lu Xing. Dong Qingxue nodded and said, A martial arts genius like you will go to the battlefield no matter what. There is no real dragon warrior in the safe zone. We have a saying in the military, With your blood and weapons of steel, honor the souls of our deceased heroes with the heads of our enemies. A true martial sage cannot be born in the comforts of safety. Qin Xiaojun nodded in response to Qin Xiu's words and said, The state and the martial arts alliance have given so much support and privileges to the warriors, and it is not for the warriors to enjoy them in vain. Sooner or later you will get to this point. What we hope is that when you are faced with the choice of the military region, you can give priority to our eastern military region. The eastern military region is good, all the female soldiers have long thighs, and they are all smooth. Qin Xiaojun sang loudly. Those looks, those figures are top-notch in the entire military of our region. Describing the woman's body in details made Qin Xiu embarrassed. She used her psychic power to thwack Qin Xiaojun while he was talking to Lu Xing. Then let's talk about another thing. Dong Qin Xiu looked directly into Lu Xing's eyes and said sternly, Major Qin Xiaojun and I have decided that you will represent the Dongning Province Talent Training Camp to participate in the selection of Qiming Generals in the entire Eastern Province. Qiming General Star Selection? Lu Xing looked shocked. Yes. Dong Qingxiu explained. All the provinces in the East, each province will hold a talent training camp like our current one every year. The purpose is to select the real talent with the potential of the star. You should know what being the representative of the star means, right? Lu Xing nodded and said two words. Martial Master. Qin Xiaojun walked towards Lu Xing and continued. And Qiming General Xing is the future Grand Master, the prepared General Xing. There is only one such person in the entire eastern region every year. And this one was selected from the chiefs of many provincial talent training camps. Although it is said that there is only one General Star of Qiming, and even if he becomes one, he is not necessarily destined to be a grandmaster. But as long as you get it, it will make a big mark on your resume. Anyone who participates will have this resume. And this resume will be very helpful to you wherever you go in the future. Think about it, Lu Xing. Nothing to think about, I'll go. Lu Xing agreed without hesitation. Now that we live in this era, some things are unavoidable. Lu Xing's heart is very big trying to change the fate of the entire human race with his power, turn the tide, and be the fire that ignites the prairie. From the moment this belief was planted, it was doomed that he could not choose peace in the future. 
since sooner or later you will have to fight against alien beasts on the battlefield, and now there is such a good opportunity in front of you, why should you not consider it? Qin Xiaojun was extremely satisfied with Lu Xing's attitude and praised him. Major Dong and I both believe in your ability. If you can't do it, then no one in Dongning province can do it this time. By the way, I forgot to tell you. The reward for the selection of this Jiming general is directly issued by the Eastern Military Region, which is much richer than what we can get from this small genius training camp. I see. This is also what Lu Xing has always aimed for. Show more talents and get more resources. Dong Qingxue walked towards Lu Xing and informed him. There are still a few months before the selection of Qiming generals begins, and it will not officially start until the training camps in all provinces are over. I'll let you know when it's time. It won't interfere with your college entrance exam anyway. Qin Xiaojun blinked his eyes and said with a smile. In fact, with your current ability it doesn't matter whether you take the college entrance examination or not. The entire Eastern Martial Arts University is entirely up to you to choose. Then do I still need to stay in training camp? Lu Xing asked. Qin Xiaojun replied. Look at yourself. If you want to stay, you can continue to stay. And if you don't want to stay, you can leave at any time. Lu Xing thought for a while. I'll stay for a while longer. Although the training camp is meaningless to him, there are still gravity training rooms and movement training rooms that are very helpful to him and the food here is really good. This kid stay for the food. Qin Xiaojun secretly said to Dong Qingxue. After hearing Dong Qingxue explain everything, Lu Xing simply said goodbye and left. Seeing Lu Xing's back disappearing at the door, the complexity in Dong Qingxue's eyes surfaced little by little. I didn't expect that I, Dong Qingxue, would be jealous of someone because of my talent. Dong Qingxue sighed and said softly, Qin Xiaojun couldn't help but sigh. Lu Xing is such a monster. We should be glad that we didn't join him in the same class. Otherwise it would not be comparable to the psychological shadow left by Xiangpeng. I feel sad for the other boys in this class. I guess they will all be beaten to the point of doubting their lives. Qin Xiaojun had a gloating expression on his face. A month later, in front of Baiha City's Martial Arts Association. It's been a while since I last came here. If I remember correctly, Chairman Zhao's office is on the sixth floor. Lu Xing came back from the training camp and visited Martial Arts Association. Enough, old man Xia, are you here to anger me? Someone shouted from inside the chairman's office. Lu Xing, you are here. The chairman's secretary noticed Lu Xing and said, Lu Xing pointed in the direction of the office to inquire what was happening, but the secretary did not explain anything and said, Let's just go in and you will understand. Soon, the door of the office opened, and the secretary walked in with Lu Xing. President, Lu Xing is here. Oh, is that so? Lu Xing, come in quickly. Xiao Yu have forced a smile and waved to Lu Xing who was standing at the door. Hello, President Xiao. Lu Xing walked into Xiao Yuha's office and noticed that there was another person in the office. It seemed that he was Xiao Yuha's friend. Old Xiao, this is the top genius in Baiha City that you always told me to see. The old man in the tunic suit saw Lu Xing standing up quickly, with a smile on his face. It is a young talent, not bad. Only Xiao Yuha could hear the irony in the old man's words, smiled at Lu Xing with an ugly face and then waved the secretary out. This is my old comrade in arms. You can call him Lao Xia. Say Xiao, don't be upset. It's not like everyone can be outstanding like my precious granddaughter. The old man in the suit smiled brightly, patted Lu Xing's shoulder, and said, He is the same age as my family, Xia Lin. If there is a chance, I can pull some strings and help you together. Say yes, Xiao. Xiao Yu has said with a dark face. I don't think this is necessary. Lu Xing seemed to have heard something, thought for a while, and tried to explain, but before he could finish speaking, Xiao Yuha interrupted him. Lu Xing, you came to me as soon as you came back. What's the matter? Xiao Yuha gave Lu Xing a frantic wink, implying that he should not give old man Xia another chance to pretend, and said quickly. Lu Xing was amused but he still took out a document sealed with craft paper from his backpack and handed it to Xiao Yuha. 
the chief instructor Dong Qinxue of the training camp asked me to hand it over to you. I hope you will approve it. What documents do the chief instructors of the training camp need to give you to a small Baiha City Martial Arts Association president for approval? Before Xiao Yuha could speak, the old man Xia next to him brought his head close. He glanced at Lu Xing and said with a strange expression, Young man, did you make a mistake in the training camp and let the recommender Lao Xiao be the one? Back the pot for you? Lu Xing was too lazy to pay attention to him. He could see it. This old man is annoying. No wonder Xiao Yu his face was so stinky when he came in, probably because he was angry. None of your business. Shut your mouth. Xiao Yu has scolded old man Xia angrily, then tore open the craft paper and took out the documents inside. Xiao Yu has eyes quickly scanned the contents of the document. It was quiet at first. When swiping to a certain location, suddenly Xiao Yu has hand holding the document shook violently. His eyes and mouth were wide open. Old man Xia standing next to President Xiao said with a wicked and arrogant smile. Xiao, don't let it get to you. Xiao Yu has suddenly raised his head to look at Lu Xing in front of him. His eyes widened, and his face showed an extremely shocked and incredible look. Xiao Yu has said a word in a trembling voice. When did you break through the third-level martial artist? Standing next to Xiao Yu Ha, old Xia's movement stopped instantly. Raising his head, he stared at Xiao Yu Ha with an expression of suspecting that his ears had misheard. No one pays attention to him. Lu Xing said calmly, A little over a month ago. The chief instructor at the training camp helped me test it. She said that the military region has the qualifications to certify the strength of warriors, and I just need to ask you to stamp it afterward. Qualified, of course, qualified. Too qualified. Your chief instructor represents the eastern military region. Xiao Yu has whole person lived in an instant. His back was straight, his face was shining brightly, and his eyebrows were so high that he almost danced. And the look of suffocation and depression before vanished. I'll stamp you now. Xiao Yu Ha raised his eyebrows, his face flushed red, and he was about to walk behind the desk with the document to look for the official seal. But he was caught by the old man Xia. Old man Xia screamed. Show me the file. Seventeen years old, third-level martial artist. Really or not? Could it be that the fake documents came from somewhere to fool you? The old man Xia looked up and down at Lu Xing with suspicious eyes. A seventeen-year-old third-level warrior. In front of this unremarkable boy, can he be a third-level warrior? Can you compare it to your baby granddaughter? Old man Xia couldn't accept it and was full of doubts. Before old man Xia could speak, Xiao Yuha refuted it first, saying, Give it to me. A fake document? How about you forge one and show me? You can't see the big stencil stamp of the Eastern Military Region. Fake documents? Go and get me a fake document to see. Old man Xia pointed at Lu Xing in disbelief and shouted, You, a guy who was eliminated in advance by the training camp, how can you have a combat power index of 270,000? Lu Xing looked straight into the eyes of the old man Xia and said calmly, I didn't say I was eliminated from the training camp, it's just that you always think so. Then why didn't the training camp end? You came back early. Old man Xia questioned. Lu Xing said flatly, For me, the training camp could have ended a month ago, but I chose to come back now. Oh, by the way, President Xiao. Lu Xing turned to look at Xiao Yuha and said, the chief instructor asked you to call her back. She is afraid that you will not believe this document and wants to confirm it with you in person. Ha ha ha, there's nothing I don't believe. I'm such a suspicious person. Xiao Yuha laughed, and when he said suspicious, he even glanced at old man Xian next to him. But this call is still to be made. Xiao Yuha took out his mobile phone and said with a smile, it is said that the chief instructor of this training camp is a famous genius in the eastern military region. Just take a look and watch the video. After speaking, the video call on Xiao Yuha's mobile phone has already been broadcast. Soon, the video was connected, and Dong Qingxue's figure appeared on the screen. President Xiao Yuha of Baiha City? 
Dong Qingxue's expression was a little surprised, but she quickly returned to normal and greeted Xiao Yuha with a serious face. It's me. I'm Xiao Yuha. Hello, Instructor Dong. Xiao Yuha responded with a smile. Hello, President Xiao. Lu Xing has returned to Baiha City, right? Old Xiao's face was embarrassed and said in a trembling voice, It is Chief Instructor Dong. At this time, a small head suddenly stuck out from behind Qingxue in the middle of the screen, looking at the screen and screaming in surprise. Grandpa! Where are you? Why did you have a video with Chief Instructor Dong? When old man Xia saw Xia Lin, he immediately became excited. But before he could say a few words to Xia Lin, she saw Dong Qingxue turn her head and scolded coldly. Xia Lin, have you achieved the goal I set for you? Do you still have the energy to be distracted? Ten times the amount of training today. Yes, Chief Instructor Dong. Xia Lin responded weakly and disappeared from the screen. Xiao Yu has squeezed old Xia away angrily and said to Dong Qingxue on the screen, Instructor Dong, I have read the documents you asked Lu Xing to bring me, and things will be settled for him soon. It is good. Dong Qingxue nodded. President Xiao, please. What trouble are you talking about? Lu Xing is the pride of our Baiha city. Xiao Yuha laughed and asked again. By the way, Instructor Dong, I don't think the training camp is over yet. Why did Lu Xing come back early? Dong Qingxue replies indifferently. Oh, it is like this. We decided a month ago that Lu Xing represented the Dongming province talent training camp to participate in the selection of Qiming generals in the entire eastern province. He is recognized as the strongest talent in this training camp, so this training camp has ended early for him, and he only needs to prepare well for the selection of Qiming generals. Xiao Yuha and old man Xia couldn't hear a word of Dong Qingxue's words. Their brains were as if someone was holding a gong and drum and beating them hard in their ears. Only a few words are left to reverberate in it. Qiming General Star. Recognized as the strongest. Xiao Yuha suddenly turned to look at Lu Xing, and his eyes completely changed. He had thought that Lu Xing was talented enough and good enough, but he did not expect to underestimate Lu Xing. Xiao Yuha's face quickly climbed to the blush of excitement. Look at old man Xia again. At this time, the old man Xia was completely frozen, his mouth opened unnaturally. The old man was a little confused. At this time, he heard Dong Qingxue's icy voice coming from the screen of Xiao Yuha's mobile phone. It's like reprimanding someone. Xiao Lin, get up for me, I can't stand this difficulty of training. Do you still want to defeat Lu Sheng? Instructor Dong, I don't want to defeat Lu Xing at all. I will run after seeing him in the future. The voice from the phone was audible, and old man Xia's body trembled slightly. The monster in the training camp that the granddaughter said when she complained in the video. It turned out to be this Lu Xing. Good instructor Dong, I will supervise Lu Xing's practice during this period, and strive for him to get a good place in the selection of Qiming generals, so as not to disgrace our entire Dongning province. Xiao Yu has said a sentence in one go extremely beautiful. Okay, Instructor Dong, then I won't disturb you, let's hang up the video first. Xiao Yuha, who was full of a spring breeze, laughed and was about to hang up the phone, but he never thought that Dong Qingxue suddenly shouted. President Xiao, don't hang up, I'll say a few words to Lu Xing by the way. Xiao Yuha was stunned but quickly understood. Lu Xing, you asked me to help you find the materials for the exclusive weapons of the spiritual masters and I have found almost all the materials that I can find. I have made a form and sent you the specific list and price. What do you need me to buy for you? Just tell me directly. In other words, you still have to pass the assessment of the spiritual master as soon as possible, so that you can be qualified to log into the star network and buy it yourself, saving me too much trouble every time. Okay, that's all I have to say. Bye. Video hangs up. The expressions of Xiao Yuha and old man Xiao were like seeing a ghost. Lu Xing. Xiao Yuha swallowed hard and started to speak. The tone of his voice was slightly deformed as if he was suppressing some emotion. What do you mean? Let you quickly participate in the spiritual teacher assessment. Lu Xing replied naturally. 
Oh, because I was tested for spiritual talent in the training camp, so the chief instructor Dong Qingxue wrote me a letter of recommendation, giving me time to participate in the spiritual training examination. That's it. Xiao Yuha almost exploded. The whole person jumped up almost in place. Okay, okay. Lu Shen, I didn't read you wrong. You are the top genius in Baiha City that has never been seen in a hundred years. Xiao Yuha was so happy that his heart was trembling. On the other hand, the old man Xia had a stiff face and his lips were trembling. Lu Xing is also a spiritual master. The last trace of pride that belonged to him in old man Xia's heart was completely shattered at this moment. If you want I can send a car to take you home? Xiao Yuha has been sending Lu Xing to the door of the association for taking a taxi. No, I'll just go home by myself. Thank you, President Xiao. Lu Xing politely declined Xiao Yuha's kindness. Xiao Yuha was not forced, but his expression was still full of regret. Then come to my house for dinner when you have time. I will cook a few dishes for you to try, and by the way, I will introduce a few children to you, who are about the same age as you and you should have common topics. After the rough car started, Xiao Yuha waved at Lu Xing, then turned around. His back straightened immediately, the corners of his mouth smirked, and the whole person's spirit became different. Lu Xing watched Xiao Yuha go away from the window, and when he looked back, he saw that the taxi driver was looking at him curiously through the rearview mirror. Noticing his gaze, the driver couldn't help but say, Young man, who are you from President Xiao? I see why he is so polite to you. Lu Xing smiled and said, I'm nothing, we just know each other. President Xiao has always been very polite to people. The taxi driver was still talking to himself when suddenly something in front of the car. There was a smash signboard lying on the ground. A few words can be vaguely seen on the signboard Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall. Many people are standing far away to watch the excitement. Lu Xing came out of the taxi and looked at the situation. It's the Hong Chuan Martial Arts Academy signboard. What is happening? Why does this martial arts hall fight every day? Several ants and ants in their forties and fifties, carrying vegetable baskets in their hands, stood not far from the gate of the martial arts hall and whispered, talking nonstop. Suddenly, a voice interrupted. Auntie, has this martial arts hall been like this recently? The ants were stunned for a moment then subconsciously replied. That's right, it was like this half a month ago. Every day people come up to kick the gym, one after another, and both sides injured a lot of people. I heard that the owner of the martial arts gym. They're all hurt. Lu Xing frowned and asked. Do you know why? An aunt quickly said. I know this, it seems that this martial arts hall borrowed the name of a martial arts genius, recruited a lot of students and robbed other martial arts halls of business. Other martial arts halls were angry, so they joined hands. Come and fix it, it is estimated that it will be destroyed in a few days. The signboard has been broken several times in the past half month. Lu Xing dragged his suitcase and stepped into the door of Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall. The scene inside the door is even worse than outside. The entire front desk of the martial arts hall has been kicked over and smashed to the ground. There was a large group of people around the lobby of the martial arts hall, and it seemed that two sides were confronting each other. Lu Xing saw that there were still faint bloodstains left on the ground and some places on the wall, and it seemed that someone had already fought there. The two gangs stood facing each other in the lobby of the martial arts hall, and all the equipment and furniture originally placed in the lobby were roughly pushed aside. One of them was wearing a bright red martial arts uniform with a big chuan printed on the back. The group of people stood in the lobby with a man in front of them. The middle-aged man was on his knees. Judging from the appearance and momentum, it should be an I Hong Chuan, the real owner of the Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall. The man in the black martial arts uniform is nearly two meters tall, with a slender inch and dark skin, and the muscles on his body are lumpy like a rock. The people in the dark blue martial arts uniform were vaguely headed by him. Hearing an Ai Hong Chuan's words, he grinned, revealing a set of white and neat teeth. Master and I, today we don't talk about business, we only talk about martial arts. We, Ties on Martial Arts Center, came to your Hong Chuan Martial Arts Center on purpose today to ask you for advice. 
Lin Taizhan, you're still a fourth-level martial artist. You took advantage of my father's injury and came up to play in the gym. Do you want to show your face? An Ai Hong Chuan hadn't spoken yet, but An Ai Shuang, who was beside him, was already scolding. Lin Taizhan, aren't you going too far? My Hong Chuan Martial Arts Academy has promised not to recruit students within a year. What else do you want? An Ai Hong Chuan stared at a man in a black martial arts uniform opposite and spoke in a deep voice. An Ai Hong Chuan seemed to be seriously injured at the moment. His face and lips were slightly pale, and from time to time he stretched out his hand to cover his chest. A woman was standing beside An Ai Hong Chuan. The woman was An Ai Shuang, whom Lu Xing knew. Lin Taizan laughed and said, Your words are really interesting. Whether it is possible to kick the gym in the martial arts class depends on the day. Your father and I Hong Chuan's injury is his business, and it is mine that I come to kick the gym. Since you Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall dare to hang up the signboard, you must be ready to be smashed at any time. As he said that, Lin Taizhan released an aura, causing a group of people in Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall to change their expressions, and they stepped back a few steps. An Ai Hong Chuan stood up abruptly, and an unnatural flush quickly appeared on his face. He looked like water, nodded slowly, and said, You are right, since the signboard is on, you must be able to keep it. I, An Ai Hong Chuan, came to Baiha City twenty years ago. I was alone and built this foundation with a pair of fists. It was possible then, and it's the same now. He was already injured, but this time it even affected the injury and he coughed violently. Dad! Seeing this, An Ai Shuang quickly reached out to support him, her face full of worry. I am fine. An Ai Hong Chuan reached out to block her hands and shook his head to indicate that he was fine. Lin Taizan, who was on the side, laughed when he saw this, and said coldly, Since you don't have the skills, don't brag about it. A seventeen-year-old second-level warrior? He... Is that a student you can teach an Ai Hong Tuan? It is also well deserved to be maimed and crippled. I said long ago that Lu Xing is not my dad's student. He is just a member of ours. An Ai Shuang tried to explain. Lin Taizan waved his hand and said indifferently, I don't care about that. All I know is that you robbed more than half of the business of several of our martial arts gyms under the name of that kid named Lu Xing. Don't blame us for chopping your claws if you dare to stick your claws into our pockets. It was your students who quit your academy on their accord. Who are you blaming? An Ai Shuang gritted her teeth in anger and said, I know, that's why we decided to tear down the signboard of your Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall. Your Martial Arts Hall collapsed and the students have nowhere to go, so they will naturally come back. Lin Taizan clapped his hands and said, Okay, enough nonsense to talk about. Hurry up and send someone up. I clean all of you up together, and you will go to the Wushu Association today to cancel the Martial Arts Hall. There was grief and anger on the faces of the people here at Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall. Since half a month ago, people have come to play in the hall almost every day. It was fine at first, and everyone could handle it. But then it became more and more intense, and the owners of other martial arts halls brought people up in person. An Ai Hong Wan played a few games in person, and also suffered a lot of injuries, and was almost unable to fight again. Now there is another fourth-level martial artist-level pavilion owner who comes to kick the pavilion, and their Hong Chuan martial arts pavilion may be forced to cancel and close the pavilion. I'll fight you! An Ai Shuang gritted her teeth and walked out directly. Lin Tiashan's expression changed, and he said lustfully, Then I will be crushing this little flower. An Ai Hong Chuan's expression changed, and he hurriedly said, An Ai Shuang, come back. You are only third level, and you are not his opponent. There's no chance. Lin Taizhan has a lot of skills in horizontal training. He's still a fourth level martial artist. If I wasn't injured, only I can fight against him. An Ai Shuang shook his head and said with a firm face, Dad, I caused this matter, and I should be responsible. Don't worry. The big deal is an injury. It's hard for him to dare to kill me. Lin Tiashan's voice came. How long are you guys gonna talk? If you drag it any longer, the Wushu Association will be closed. 
Do you have to let us run again tomorrow? And I Shuang glared at him and said coldly, I'll beat you down later. I want you to carry the signboard of our Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall to parade through the streets. Lin Taizhan smiled slightly, and a cold light flashed from his eyes. The little girl with sharp teeth and sharp mouth is annoying. The next second, Lin Taizhan took a step forward, and in an instant, his whole body seemed to swell slightly. The muscles all over the body were bulging, and the skin was glowing with a faint iron luster. A mountain-like momentum rolled towards an Shuang. Lin Tiashan's figure suddenly disappeared. He was too fast for an Shuang to notice. She was startled. In an instant, Lai Taizhan appeared in front of an Shuang. She was already stunned and in front of a huge power gap between them, and Ai Shuang stood there dazedly. At the moment, Lai Taizhan was about to strike an Ai Shuang, someone shouted her name. Immediately afterward, the two figures collided fiercely. Someone blocked the strike. It was Ai Hong Chuan who took the strike to save her daughter. An Ai Shuang could not do anything but watch. A figure suddenly flew seven or eight meters into a wall revealing the slightly pale face of the old man. Father! And I, Hong Chuan, you are trash. You were not even able to take one punch from me. Lai Taizhan smirked and said, And I, Hong Chuan, had a solemn expression and slowly frowned. It turned out to be hiding such a hand. Lin Taizhan, have you broken through the fifth level? Lin Taizhan grinned and said, It's still a little bit short, but my Taizhan strength has already reached its peak. And I Hong Juan, you shriveled tortoise, you can't compare yourself and sent two little dolls to die. Then I will fulfill you. Lin Tiashan's powerful terror was so overwhelming that everyone could hardly breathe. Anyone else? Lin Taizhan twisted his neck and glanced at the crowd in Hong Juan Martial Arts Hall with a smile. Anyone who was swept by his eyes lowered their heads in fear, and no one dared to look at them. That is enough. An I Hong Chuan's chest heaved violently, stood up slowly, and said word by word, Don't you just want our Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall to close? Okay, I will fulfill your wish. I will go to the Wushu Association to cancel the Martial Arts Hall. Qualifications An I Hong Chuan said this sentence, the whole person seemed to be ten years old in an instant, and even his back was hunched. An I Shuang's eyes suddenly turned red and the self-blame and guilt in her heart surged like a tide. Everyone in the Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall was downcast and looked desolate. Seeing that his goal had been achieved, Lin Taizhan said with a smile, I still believe in the character of Master and I, and since that's the case, I'll bring everyone back first. At this moment, a voice suddenly came from the crowd. Hold up, you guys. Everyone was stunned and looked subconsciously. They saw a well-proportioned, tall, fair-skinned, handsome young man walking out. It's a perfect martial art, if it's closed, where can I go to exercise in the future? The young man glanced at Anai Hong Chuan and said lightly. Anai Hong Chuan looked shocked and did not speak. Anai Shuang recognized the youth's identity at a glance and said in surprise, Lu Xing? Lu Xing nodded and waved at Anai Shuang and said, It's been a while, Miss Shuang. In an instant, Everyone's eyes converged on Lu Xing with strange eyes. So he is Lu Xing. It was he who caused our martial arts hall to be reduced to this point. Everyone shut up. Lin Tizhan walked towards Lu Xing and said, The people at the Hong Chuan martial arts hall became agitated, and there was a lot of discussions. Many people glared at Lu Xing and seemed to blame him for everything in front of them. Lin Tiashan's eyes lit up, looked Lu Xing up and down, and said, so you are that genius, Lu Xing? Not bad, indeed. You are arrogant and talented. Is Brother Lu worried that there will be no place to practice after the closure of Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall? Don't worry, our Taizhan Martial Arts Academy welcomes you at any time. Lin Taizhan pointed at an I Hong Chuan and the short and thin young man on the ground and said with a smile, You have seen it. The Hong Chuan Martial Arts Hall is full of rubbish. The martial arts head can't even take one punch from me. What can this martial arts hall teach you? Come to our Taizhan Martial Arts Hall. I can personally teach you Taizhan secret skills. Never hide your secrets. Iron Mountain secret skill? Lu Xing seemed to be a little interested. 
Seeing this, Lin Tai's Han hurriedly hit the iron while it was hot. Tieshan's secret technique is a practice technique that is not taught in our Taizan Martial Arts Hall. I'm not bragging. Lin Taizan patted his chest and boasted confidently. Within the same level, there are not many who can break my defense. And I Hong Wan can't, and neither can others. And I Hong Chuan's face was a little ugly, but he was powerless to refute it. Are you willing to teach me such a powerful technique? Lu Xing said lightly. Lin Tai's Han felt that Lu Xing seemed to be a little moved, and his smile was even bigger, and he said quickly, Of course, I am willing, as long as you join our Tai Han Martial Arts Academy and worship me Lin Tai Han as your master, I will teach you all. Lu Xing took two steps forward, looked at Lin Tai Han calmly, and said casually, Then how are you going to teach me? Lin Tai Han frowned, secretly asking why this kid is doing so much shit but considering the identity of the other party, he still said patiently, If you come, I will. Lin Taizan hasn't finished speaking yet, suddenly. Lu Xing suddenly disappeared in front of him. Immediately afterward, a terrifying aura like a volcanic eruption swept through the sky. Lin Tieshan's scalp was numb in an instant, his whole body was standing upright, and a great sense of life and death crisis poured out from the bottom of his heart. He shouted wildly, the muscles all over his body blackened and swelled, his whole body suddenly swelled in a circle, and then he pushed his palms forward fiercely. Impressive, it is indeed really tough. Suddenly, he heard Lu Xing's voice. Immediately after a white flesh fist easily swayed his palms, drove straight in, and imprinted on his chest destructively. Crack knock. The sound of bones breaking. Boom! The terrifying power contained in his fist burst out, and Lin Tieshan's body flew out like a mountain, smashed the crowd and flew to the side wall of the entrance to the martial arts hall, smashed a big hole in the wall, deeply embedded in the wall. The crisp footsteps sounded in the quiet lobby. Lu Xing walked step by step, his attitude was casual, and his expression was indifferent. He stopped in front of Lin Taizan, whose face was full of pain, shock, and fear. He looked down and said lightly, How are you going to teach me? Do you teach me on your knees? At this moment, the entire martial arts hall. It was silent, deadly still. Everyone stared blankly at the scene in front of them, in a trance, like a dream. And Ai Shuang's beautiful eyes were round and wide, and her mouth was wide enough to fit a duck egg. Lin Taizhan, lost! It seems that the Taizhan secret technique that you blew into the sky doesn't seem to be very good. Lu Xing shook his head and stopped looking at Lin Taizhan. A fourth-level martial artist, he is a master of horizontal training. Invincible, tyrannical, and unparalleled, Lin Taizhan is like a devil. He was punched by Lu Xing. He slammed into the wall abruptly. Seventeen years old, high school student, fifth-level warrior. These words are connected, and everyone only feels that their scalps are numb, and their bodies can't stop shaking violently. The people from Lai Tai's Han Martial Hall picked him up and said as they went away, Just you wait, kid, what will happen to you? Lu Xing walked up to Anai Shuang. Lu Xing offered her help and said, Are you guys all right? Anai Shuang was love-stricken by Lu Xing's personality and his previous actions. She replied, Thanks, we both are fine. Lu Xing said lightly to Anai Hong Chuan. Don't let the martial arts hall close, otherwise I have to find another one so close to home. It will be very troublesome. Anai Hong Chuan stood up from the chair with a swoosh, his face full of excitement. We won't. We won't. Thank you so much and please tell us if there is anything you need. It's nothing much, anyways it all happened because of me. However, I will only be helping out this once. If something like this were to happen again, you will have to protect your martial hall yourself. As you know, martial power is the law of the jungle in this world. Lu Xing replied to Anai Hong Chuan. Lu Xing turned away to leave. A look of awe and shock watched him from behind. Lu Xing has no special feelings for Hong Chuan Martial Arts Academy. This shot is mainly because he became an honorary member of Anai Shuang. To think that a marshal that is almost rank five and mastered strengthening arts would be rendered to that state by a single blow from Lu Xing. He is really scary. 
and I Hong Chuan was in awe of Lu Xing's talent and strength. He could not believe his eyes. Three months ago, Lu Xing was just a rank two, just what on earth is his level now? And I Shuang wondered as she watched Lu Xing's back. Later at night, Lu Xing reached his old apartment. As he opened the door, his mother Xing Yufin was standing in front and inquired, Why are you so late? Wasn't you going to arrive in the morning? I cooked a table of dishes at noon for you, but it's useless now. Lu Xing called home before he came back. Oh, I went to the Martial Arts Association and met President Xiao for something. On the way back, I saw a group of people bullying a few old, weak, sick, and disabled people, so I helped out. That is why I got delayed. Lu Xing explained a little apologetically. Xing Yufen's expression changed immediately upon hearing this, and she looked at Lu Xing up and down. Fight with someone? Are you injured? Let me take a good look. I'm not injured. Mom, you underestimate me too much. Anyway, I'm also an official martial artist now. I even went to a training camp and became more powerful. How could a few gangsters hurt me? Lu Xing stretched out a finger to lift the suitcase and move it up and down easily, showing that he is very strong now. Because of Lu Xing's return, this small family was once again complete, and the whole family was quite happy. Lu Dehai even had two drinks during dinner. Your son is now an official martial artist. I am sure he is fine, Lu Dehai said. Hearing that Lu Xing had taught a few gangsters a lesson on the way back, Lu Dehai flushed with joy. Practice martial arts should be like this. When the road is not smooth, you should face the strong and help the weak. When it's time to make a move. Otherwise, why do you still practice martial arts? Just find an office building to work. Boy, it's a big deal to get a little bit of blood. In the future, my son Lu Xing will go to the battlefield to kill alien beasts and protect the family and the country. Big brother, what was the meat you sent back? Dad's health has improved a lot, and even my vitality has risen to 1.1. That meat is even more effective than several tonics. You didn't steal them from the training camp, did you? Lu Qing had came close to Lu Xing and said. She was confused as to how his brother can get all those expensive materials, that are hard to get even for those high-class families. Hey, who do you think your brother is? Don't worry, I earned all of it. Lu Xing pinched her sister and said. Later, Xing Yufen brought a huge bowl of rice for Lu Xing and said, Sheng, was the training camp tough? Don't push yourself too hard. It's more important that you are safe and well. What do you know? From the side, Lu Dehai interrupted and said, Sheng, I could tell that you have your own goals. You will become an incredible person. Even if you fail, we will always be here for you. Lu Xing looked at this scene, and his eyebrows gradually softened. Lu Xing felt happy hearing these words from his father. I know that, Dad. That is right, for these happy days to continue. I have to keep getting stronger and stronger, to the point that I can face all disasters. Lu Xing thought to himself. He has a big heart, and has a lot to do. But so far, this home is all he wants to protect. At night, Lu Xing sat quietly on the yoga mat in the middle of the room. Mental power slowly circulated in my mind, bringing a sense of coolness. Soon, Lu Xing entered a dream. On the dilapidated street, Lu Xing's figure appeared quietly. Lu Xing had a calm expression on his face as he strolled down the desolate street. He started walking towards the center of the city. A wandering figure appeared in front of Lu Xing. The tall zombie roared and burst into a cloud of dust, and a thick black line of smoke came out. Lu Xing's expression was calm, and the powerful spiritual power belonging to the third-level spiritual master came out. Those zombies who tried to get close to him were thrown out instantly like straws uprooted under a tornado. Zombies weathered in the air, turned into black lines of smoke, and returned to Lu Xing. I can now take out rank six zombies with just one punch. Lu Xing spoke. With his current strength, this zombie, who was a sixth-level warrior in his lifetime, can be solved with just one punch. Lu Xing kept moving forward, gradually going deeper into the city. He finally reached the command center of the base. Lu Xing thought to himself saying, 
The zombie with the terrifying aura I saw back then was here. I wonder if I can handle it now. A lot of thoughts rose in his heart. For now, let's just go in to take a look at the situation. Lu Xing was deep in his thoughts when he noticed a figure standing in the command center. Suddenly, a thin figure fell in front of Lu Xing. Large cracks appeared on the hard street floor under the silhouette's feet. Lu Xing's pupils shrank and stopped abruptly. Lu Xing looked at the uninvited guest in front of him who was attracted by him, stretched out his hand and rubbed his swollen temple, and grinned. It was the Grandmaster level zombie that Lu Xing saw back then, the pressure of which made him tremble and fall to his knees in the past. Suddenly, a thin figure fell in front of Lu Xing. Large cracks appeared on the hard street floor under the silhouette's feet. Lu Xing's pupils shrank and stopped abruptly. Lu Xing looked at the uninvited guest in front of him who was attracted by him, stretched out his hand and rubbed his swollen temple, and grinned. It was the Grandmaster level zombie that Lu Xing saw back then, the pressure of which made him tremble and fall to his knees in the past. Lu Xing narrowed his eyes and looked at the appearance of the zombie in front of him. About 1.75 meters tall, with a thin body, it gives people a solid feeling of cast iron. His appearance is very ordinary, and he is wearing rather delicate streamlined battle armor. Compared with the rotten and broken zombies that Lu Xing has seen before, this zombie is extraordinarily new and complete. The Grand Master's blood is thick like mercury slurry, and his body is like fine steel. It is completely unmatched by warriors of level 6 and below. It's too powerful. The memory fragments of these zombies gathered together, filling Lu Xing's mind. It made his brain soar, and bursts of urges to vent were constantly emerging in his heart. The desire to destroy everything. Lu Xing knew that this was the aftermath of absorbing too many battle memories in one breath. He found what he was looking for. Why didn't he choose to clear those complicated memories in his mind? He was afraid that the desire to fight and destroy would be gone because he will lose. The courage to fight with this Grand Master level zombie in front of him. At this moment, this Grand Master level zombie was standing in the distance and watching him silently, as if waiting for something. Fight! Lu Xing took a deep breath, and the rhythm of his breathing changed quietly. Switch! Breath of the wind! A faint wind lingered around Lu Xing. Lu Xing shook his body and disappeared in place in an instant. He who was fully deployed in the microstate was astonishingly fast, like a cloud of blue smoke, bullying the rank six and below zombies in a few breaths. The Grand Master level zombies seemed to be unaware and stood still. Lu Xing fiercely kicked the head of the Master level zombie with a whip. Driven by the powerful blood of the third level warrior, this whip leg was like a steel knife, tearing the air and making a sharp whistle. Boom! The place was silent. The Grand Master level zombie still stood there and didn't move, but his right hand was lifted at some point. The palm of the zombie is in a naturally stretched state, gently blocking the side of the face. Lu Xing's eyes showed a shocking color. He felt as if his leg had hit an incomparably thick cushion, and all the power was absorbed into it and dissolved cleanly. The huge force contained in the legs fell on the palm of the master level zombie, but it was like a mud cow entering the sea, without causing any waves. Lu Xing immediately flew back, and there was still a deeply moving expression on his face. What, although I didn't go all out, I also used six times the power of the stars and the bonus of the perfect leg work. Why is the combat power index above 100,000, could not even shake his one hand? Grandmaster level zombies are indeed terrifying. And this is only a grandmaster level with only fighting instinct left if it is a true martial arts master. The strength is unimaginable. After a temptation, Lu Xing no longer held back. Ten times the power of the stars, the perfect boxing technique, the breath of flame. Except for not using the chi and blood increase of the Divine Illumination Sutra, he almost went all out. He used ten times stellar power and dealt a huge blow to the zombie grandmaster, resulting in creating a huge explosion that blocked Lu Xing's sight. The rubble spread all around, even the command center behind was shaken by Lu Xing's force. But no matter what kind of offensive he is, 
the Grand Master level zombie in front of him can always easily defuse it. Liu Xing faintly had an illusion. What he is facing now is not an ordinary person of 1.7 meters. But a wall, a mountain. Unbreakable, unsurpassable. Liu Xing felt that there seemed to be an invisible film on the outside of this master level zombie. This probably is. Liu Xing took a deep breath and slowly spit out a word. Grand Master Force Field! It is rumored that the martial arts master comes with an invisible force field, and even bullets can't penetrate it. After shooting into the force field, it will be directly blocked by stagnation and completely become useless scrap iron. I can see it today, and it lives up to its reputation. This is still the meager force field left by the dead master outside the body. If it's a martial arts master in full bloom, I guess I don't want to attack. Even if I want to get close to the opponent, I can't do it. The power of the Grand Master Force Field exceeded Lu Xing's expectations, and he was almost exhausted. Lu Xing backed away to stay at a distance from the zombie. He is not coming after me. Does he have no intention to attack? Lu Xing thought to himself. Lu Xing stood a few dozen meters away from the master level zombie, breathing heavily. His expression was a little dignified. You can't beat it at all, you can't even hurt it. Lu Xing sat down to think about the situation. All my attacks hit this thin film, and 99% of the power was directly removed. So much so that although my combat power is now as high as hundreds of thousands, I am not even qualified to let the opponent move a bit. However, there is good news. This master level zombie doesn't seem to regard me as an opponent at all and it only passively resists my attacks and never takes the initiative to attack. Otherwise, I should have been killed on the spot long ago. Now I understand why there is only one level of difference between the 6th and 7th levels, but the status is very different. The 7th level can be called a Grandmaster, but the 6th level can only be a martial artist. It's because the gap between the two is too great. That is a qualitative difference, a difference in the level of life. Reaching the realm of a seventh-level grandmaster, it can almost be regarded as another kind of life form. Lu Xing now has a feeling that he seems to have become a low-level account who has mistakenly entered the high-level monster map. In the face of the huge level gap, even if the monsters in the advanced map stand still and let themselves cut, they will not be able to break the opponent's defense. I can't even take down a single HP of his. What should I do? Should I back down? Lu Xing was a little helpless. No, there must be a way. Once I kill him I will be able to access the memories of a Grand Master. Lu Xing tried a few more times and unexpectedly found that the invisible force field outside the Grand Master level mourning body seemed to have weakened a little. His eyes were blazing with anger. Up until now Lu Xing was able to take down every single zombie without much effort but this time he had to face the reality of how powerful the martial artist can be. His eyes were filled with desperation. Lu Xing has attacked nearly a thousand times, and he has long been familiar with the defense capabilities of Grandmaster level zombies. After getting exhausted, he backed down again to take a breath. I felt it just now. His force field is not invincible. Although it is very small, there is only a trace, and it can almost be ignored. But his defense weakened. If you grind a little bit, there may be a chance but I'm afraid that you will suddenly go berserk when you grind below the kill line. And this is too slow. I estimate that it will take millions of attacks to wear off this force field. Lu Xing already felt that his physical strength was almost exhausted. This is also because he has been using the natural breathing method to recover. If he replaced it with another third-level warrior, he didn't know how many times he was tired. Or should I retreat first? When I become stronger, will I solve this hard bone? Lu Xing's heart raised the meaning of retreat. But he was unhappy. The sixth-level zombie warrior has almost lost the value of actual combat training for him now. After the mental strength reaches the third level, hunting zombies below the sixth level is like mowing the grass. Lu Xing suddenly thought of something. Mental strength! Yes, psychic attack. He hasn't tried it yet attacking directly with mental power. I haven't practiced true spiritual master combat skills, 
so I have always used spiritual power as an auxiliary means, and the divine light of the Pluto Sutra is the fuel to increase chi and blood. I almost forgot that I was still a third-level spiritual teacher. Compared to my strength in martial arts, my strength in the field of spiritual masters is even stronger. Thinking of this, Lu Xing suddenly felt a bright light in front of him. Although Lu Xing has not learned the corresponding spiritual power combat skills, his spiritual power is strong enough. It was as if Lu Xing was holding an iron block in his hand. Although he had not yet learned how to forge the iron block into a sword to chop people, the power of swinging the iron block and smashing it out was quite impressive. Lu Xing's eyes lit up, and the more he thought about it, the more he felt that this method was feasible. There is another advantage to using mental power to attack. My mental power is replenished very quickly after being consumed because there are zombies everywhere, so I just need to absorb some memory and purify it with the idea of crystal view. Much faster than recovering stamina. Thinking about it, Lu Xing immediately condensed his mental power into a ball and slammed the Grand Master level zombie in front of him. Just like the physical attack, the moment when the spiritual force touches the master level zombie is like touching an invisible barrier. The mental power hit it and disappeared. But at the same time, part of that invisible barrier was also consumed. So much better than a physical attack. Lu Xing was surprised and delighted, and after thinking about it, he quickly understood. The master force field is the externalized manifestation of the master's will, and the master's will, to put it bluntly, is the spiritual power of the master. Use mental power to consume mental power, and it will come quickly. I'm so stupid I should have thought of that. Lu Xing didn't delay any longer and quickly manipulated his mental power to attack the force field of the master level zombie again and again. The Grand Master Force Field of the Grand Master Level Zombie was rapidly consumed, and the invisible barrier weakened and thinned at a speed that Lu Xing's spirit could perceive. Lu Xing's mental power was also exhausted twice in the middle, but fortunately, he harvested a lot of ordinary zombie memories before. As soon as the crystal conception technique runs, a steady stream of spiritual power emerges. During this process, Lu Xing Shirtuan's martial arts increased again. More than 80% of martial arts skills have broken through the bottleneck period once, that is, they have reached the perfect state. This is a terrifying improvement to Lu Xing's comprehensive combat ability. However, Lu Xing has no time to care about these now, and all his attention is on the master level zombie in front of him. He was looking forward to it. After killing this grand master level zombie, what kind of martial arts treasures will there be in the memory of the grand master that burst out? Lu Xingyi's mental power bombarded the Grand Master Level Zombie. The body of the Master Level Zombie swayed slightly, but there was no fluctuation. Its exterior looks the same as it originally did. But in Lu Xing's eyes, this Grand Master Level Zombie has become extremely dim. Another mental attack. With the continuous use of mental power, Lu Xing also became proficient in the use of this simple and rude skill and he can feel that his mental power attack is stronger each time because the mental power is rapidly consumed and the crystal view is used to quickly recover. If Lu Xing took another mental power test now, her mental power would be far stronger than before. At this point, only a thin layer of the force field around the Grand Master Zombie was left. A strange light flashed in Lu Xing's eyes, and he didn't know how many times the mental attack was sent out. This time, the spiritual attack fell on the master level zombie, encountered a slight obstacle, and then passed through suddenly. It's done! Lu Xing landed on the spiritual crystal and took his stance with the purpose of using all his power. Divine Illumination Sutra, Qi, and Blood Increase. In Lu Xing's body, two hearts were beating, and blood was roaring. Ten times the power of the stars. Switch, Breath of Fire. Perfect boxing. Lu Xing's eyes shone brightly, and his right fist was raised high. At this moment, the killing line of the master level zombies has arrived. Boom! This punch slammed into the spiritual mountain that Lu Xing created through his psychic energy. The impact from all the powers combined brought a huge tremor to the whole base. Everything shook violently. Some cracks seemed to appear on the force field. 
Moments later, it cracked under the huge force of Lu Xing, leaving the Grand Master zombie stunned. Lu Xing's figure instantly disappeared in place. Breath of the Wind. Appearing again, it is already in front of the Master Level Zombies. At this time, the Grand Master Level Zombies gave Lu Xing a much weaker feeling than at the beginning. The heroic spirit is immortal, your will is inherited by me. Lu Xing looked into the eyes of the Grand Master Zombie. This punch slammed into the body of the Master Level Zombie. The chest of the Master Level Zombie burst open. It's not a stalwart body staggered backward under the impact of Lu Xing's punch. The zombie at the end tried to say something but due to becoming undead, he can't. It smiled at the end, turning into a pile of black energy, and disintegrated. A trace of guilt rose in Lu Xing's heart. From the beginning to the end, this Grand Master level zombie has never attacked him once, he has been attacking the opponent all the time. A black line of smoke with the thickness of the forearm emerged from its body, like a black python, and slammed into Lu Xing's body. Lu Xing was hit hard and retreated abruptly. There is only one thought left in my mind master's memory. Mr. Shi Xingning, congratulations on reaching the seventh level. From today onwards, you can be called a master. The situation is getting worse and worse. Although the adults in the star realm have been running around, there are still bases falling. The top 100 bases are located in the center of the Wuming League, which is the safest place in the whole world. I have already arranged the airship, and you will set off in the afternoon. Dad, won't you come with us? I am the master, I should stay on the front line and shed the last drop of blood for the human race. The ninth level alien beast is so terrifying, even if I only glanced at it from a distance, I was still terrified. I am a master, and my will is so strong that I have nothing to fear, so why am I still afraid? Why? Is there hope? Where is the future of the human race? Lord Wan He, known as the Eastern Evil Sun, is here. Come to our base 1359. I was fortunate enough to see Lord Wan take action. It was too powerful and shocking. The human race has such a powerful existence as Lord Wan He, and will win this battle. Must. The last time I saw Lord Wan He takes action, I got a lot of insights. Inspiration erupted like a spring. I should have the skill to nurture. I succeeded. Ha ha ha. It is not impossible to achieve the status of the eighth level grandmaster in this life. It hurts so much, my heart was gouged out. Is this what it feels like before death comes? I heard that Alliance has launched a fire project, intending to gather the power of the entire human race to create an unprecedented twelfth level powerhouse. It should be successful. Too bad I can't see it anymore. The amount of memory that Lu Xing had absorbed was larger than ever before. Countless broken pictures quickly passed through Lu Xing's mind. How legendary and wonderful the life of a martial arts master! The idea of the crystal concept has already been in operation, and the diamond human figure has been dyed pure black. A lot of martial arts experience and combat skills memory were quickly absorbed by Lu Xing. Lu Xing had good luck. The martial arts master named Shi Xingning majored in boxing during his lifetime. Lu Xing could feel that his accomplishments in boxing were madly improving. The boxing technique of the perfect realm has quickly risen to the bottleneck of the perfect realm. His fist techniques, combat experience, and epiphanies are all now integrated within me. Then, break out! Enter the discernment stage. My fist arts level is advancing like crazy then continued to increase rapidly. The advanced level of the discernment stage, the pinnacle of the discernment stage. Breakthrough again. Suddenly a huge burst of energy rose into the sky. Lu Xing came back to his senses. He looked at his body emitting an aura that was never there before. The realm of control. Lu Xing was overjoyed. Martial arts master Shi Xingning's lifelong learning. The control boxing technique tempered in countless life-and-death fights with alien beasts has now been perfectly inherited by Lu Xing without omission. This little gain alone is enough to be called a treasure. Not to mention, he has not yet unearthed the most core treasure. Wang He Lu Xing captured the name in Shi Xingning's memory. This name seems to be quite important to Shi Xingning. 
In the last memory of Grandmaster Shershingning's life, aside from his wife and children, this name was mentioned the most by him. And just right. Lu Xing knew the name. The creator of the stellar refinement technique is called Wan He. It was evident that Wan He was a powerful master for 10,000 years. He is also a famous super big man, nicknamed Eastern Evil Yang. Even a seventh level martial arts master like Shi Xingning is also his fan brother. Lu Xing practiced the stellar body refinement technique created by Wang He, which can be regarded as having a certain relationship with him. Now that I know the scales and claws of this legendary figure from the perspective of others, I can't help but feel a lot of emotions in my heart. Shi Xingning seems to be inspired by Wang He's martial arts because he saw Wang He shot once and created an extremely powerful martial arts. Why can't I find it? Lu Xing was a little puzzled and kept rummaging through Shi Xingning's memory. At this moment, he saw a golden light spot suddenly appear in the diamond figure in his mind. With the continuous breathing of the diamond figure, the golden light point also slowly melted. In an instant, a memory picture that Lu Xing had never seen before appeared in his mind. It was a vast and barren wilderness. There was a thick black mist everywhere. In the black fog, a large number of uncountable alien beasts poured out from the earth and sky, tearing apart the black fog. Like a tide, it poured over the sky and covered the earth. Lu Xing perceived that his heart was shaking, his mouth was dry, and his legs were a little weak. I am a master and fearless, why am I still afraid? Is that the enemy that Shi Xingning encountered? A strong sense of despair enveloped Lu Xing's heart. At this moment, a figure suddenly appeared in his field of vision. This figure was extremely fast, and the whole body exuded a splendid golden light as if the sun was rising. Lu Xing watched the figure. He vaguely saw that the figure seemed to raise his right hand. Next moment, ten suns appear simultaneously in the dim sky. Incredibly bright sun. All the otherworldly monsters got wiped out in an instant. The golden light rays released from the old man's body swept through the whole wilderness, wiping out each and everything in its way. The endless golden light shone down, and Lu Xing's eyes flowed with tears. He tried to open his eyes wide, but he could only see a golden light. Golden sun! Don't know how long it took. The golden light gradually faded, and Lu Xing's vision returned. He saw the countless alien beasts that covered the sky and the earth all disappeared, and the black fog was everywhere. The whole world is empty. All filth was washed away. Only that thin but stalwart figure was left, hovering in the distant midair. In the dream space, Lu Xing suddenly opened his eyes. At this moment, his eyes were completely smudged into brilliant golden color, like two rounds of stars emitting endless light and heat. Soon, the golden color slowly faded, and the stars disappeared. A strange light flashed in Lu Xing's eyes, and he said to himself, In ancient mythology, the son of the emperor of heaven is the golden crow. Jin Wu must do so. Each golden crow represents a round of the sun. When the ten suns appeared in the sky at the same time, the rivers dried up, the earth cracked open, and the infinite light and heat burned everything. No creature can survive under ten days. Shi Xingning, the master of martial arts, spent his whole life learning and developing martial arts, worked hard his whole life, and even wanted to use it to achieve the supreme master skills of the eighth level grand master. The name of this skill is Golden Crow Casting Sun. This technique that Xingning used was extremely tyrannical that could destroy everything in its way. My mental power has undergone some kind of qualitative change. Lu Xing was a little shocked. Lu Xing punched violently. With this punch, his huge mental power quickly shrank toward the center of the brain core, collapsing and roaring. Two rounds of golden sun ignited in his eyes. A surging heat wave rushed out of his fist. The light and heat distorted the air, forming ten illusory golden suns behind Xing Lu's head. This style of master technique is in the same vein as mine and complements each other. Golden Crow Casting Sunday. Now it's mine. Outside the dream world on a sunny day, Lu Xing woke up after practicing in the dream. The old apartments where Lu Xing lived can be seen. After coming back from the dream world, 
Lu Xing had been in deep thought. The gain that he received this time is far better than anything he achieved so far. With the comprehension of this master technique, Lu Xing felt that his spiritual power had undergone a drastic change. The huge mental force shrank sharply, condensed into a point, collapsed inward, and emitted a golden glow. It is like a small sun, suspended at the heart of the diamond figure visualization. With every breath of the diamond figure, the rays of the sun also change. The countless black spiritual impurities in the diamond humanoid also continued to subside under the golden light of the sun. Lu Xing was shocked at witnessing these events. If Xiao Lin's spiritual power is air, then Dong Qingxue's spiritual power is water, and my previous spiritual power is ice, and the three are like the difference between gas, liquid, and solid. Now, my mental power is like a steel ball made of pure steel. Although it is still the same shape, the quality, and hardness are many times higher than before. Great progress! Lu Xing thought to himself, he was quite happy after achieving several breakthroughs in the dream world. Lu Xing's thoughts moved, and his spiritual power radiated out. In an instant, with him at the center, the surrounding streets suddenly cracked. A nearby building was slowly suspended. But it didn't take long for the mental power to drain, and the huge building fell back. What is happening? Is it an earthquake or an eruption? Several panicked voices can be heard from the building. Lu Xing's eyes lit up. The snatch force of mental power is dozens of times stronger than before. If the total amount is not too small, imperial objects can fly as described in Xiu Xian's novels based on mental power alone. Lu Xing felt that in a sense, he had completely stepped into the level of an extraordinary life form, and even ordinary warriors could not imagine it at all. He is confident that by only relying on the power of mental power, he can crush a third level, or even fourth level warrior to death. This is a completely different concept from ordinary spiritual masters who use weapons to sweep warriors of the same level, or challenge high-level warriors by leaps and bounds. I now have a force field similar to that of a grandmaster zombie. Lu Xing felt that a thin film appeared on the surface of his body. This thin film is derived from his spiritual solar core. If you don't control it deliberately, there will only be a very light layer. If you increase the output of mental power, it will become much stronger. Even if it is enhanced to the limit, the thickness of this force field is less than 1% of that of a grandmaster zombie. But it does exist. It is equivalent to the prototype of the master's will. Although it is only a seed now, it will grow into a towering tree sooner or later, and from it will transform into my true master-level martial arts will. Lu Xing got up. Now, he needs to find a few suitable objects to test the master technique he just learned. The next day, because it was very expensive to test the master technique in the dream space last night, Lu Xing woke up earlier than usual. Lu Xing felt that it was almost time, so he packed up and walked out of the room. He went to the Central Plaza restaurant. Lu Xing was waiting for He Ling Su in a restaurant room. They were keeping in contact with each other on the phone. Now that I've left the training camp, and I don't have the daily supply of exotic animal meat, I need tonics to assist my practice. It's time to get in touch with the people from Xingshan Hall. Lu Xing thought silently in his heart. He had already checked Xing Shantang's history and future development track in the dream space. It's half past seven in the morning. A moment later, the door to the room opened, and He Ling Su entered. She was out of breath. She had waited for too long for this one moment. After looking for Lu Xing, she thought with confidence in her eyes, he is just a student. It going to be a cinch to have a contract with him. He Ling Su thought Lu Xing should be just a teenager from a middle-class family, so it should be quite easy to form a contract with him. A voice rose in the room, come on sit. It was Lu Xing. The handsome boy picked up the menu on the table, and said to He Ling Su like an old friend he hadn't seen for many years, I heard that the steak in this restaurant is pretty good. You don't mind me chatting over lunch, do you? Certainly He Ling Su faintly felt that this opening was a little different from what he expected. How should I start? He Ling Su thought to herself. 
She was thinking about how to speak when she heard the boy on the opposite side say to the waiter who had followed up long ago, Which is your best steak? Okay, then give me twenty first, medium rare. Okay, sir. He Ling Su choked for a moment, and looked up at the other party deliberately. Is he a pig? Twenty servings of steak in one sitting. Even though the other party is a martial arts student, and it is normal to have a bigger appetite. But one thousand and twenty six yuan per steak. He Ling Su quickly calculated the account in his heart, feeling a little pain in the flesh. But when she thought that the other party had eaten so much, she might not be embarrassed to let herself pay the bill, and she was relieved. Do you want to eat? Lu Xing asked with the menu. He Ling Su shook his head. Things haven't started to talk about. She has no appetite. Okay, let's do this first Lu Xing waved to the waiter back. Seeing that Lu Xing didn't do anything else, He Ling rationalized his thoughts and prepared to speak. Suddenly a paper landed in front of her. He Ling Su, 22 years old, ancestral home in Yi County, Guanglin City, Xing'an Province, great-great-great-great-grandfather He Jiming was originally just an elementary school apprentice in the old Jian Pharmacy. In the decades when the martial arts first took off, with his good martial arts talent and extraordinary pharmaceutical talent, he became a fifth-level pharmacist and founded Xing Shantang. He Ling Su expression turned sore. Before He Ling Su could speak a word in defense, she heard Lu Xing speak a great deal. Xing Shantang was quite beautiful in the early years, with branches in more than twenty cities in Dongning province, with a total of two hundred and thirteen. It's a pity that due to poor management, in your father He Hiji's generation, it quickly declined. After the initial surprise, He Ling Su quickly calmed down and said slightly sarcastically, Mr. Lu came up and read such a large amount of information that can be easily found on the internet, what did he want to express? Is your memory amazing? Right at that moment, the waitress intervened to deliver the food. No, it's not just that. Lu Xing spoke while taking a bite of the monster steak. Lu Xing smiled and said, I also know that your mother, Chen Lan, has not returned to Dongning province for twenty years due to family reasons, and she has never seen your daughter once. And the reason why your Hijiaxing Shantang collapsed so quickly under your father's hands is that it is indeed outdated and poorly managed. And the most important, it's inseparable from your mother's secret suppression over the years by the Chen family. What? He Ling Su was taken aback because he was so shocked that he accidentally knocked over the lemonade on the table in front of him. Mr. Lu, what you said is true or false. You know that some things can't be said nonsense. Asterisk He Ling Su stared at Lu Xing's eyes, his face became ugly. But with her imposing manner, Lu Xing just made a slight movement of leaning forward and immediately collapsed. What I said is true or not, you can go home and ask your father He Haji. Thank you. As Lu Xing's steaks arrived, Lu Xing didn't say a word and concentrated on eating the steak in front of him. To Lu Xing, these steaks have no taste. He was interested in the quality of the steak. The meat is of good quality, and the nutrients are high, and the more energy it can provide for his martial arts practice. That's why he chose this restaurant especially. At this time, He Ling Su was in deep shock and doubt. Much of what Lu Xing said about her mother was not even known to her. But her mother did leave when she was two years old, and her father He Ling Su answered that the two were incompatible, and the two divorced very early. When He Ling Su was a child, He Ling Su once complained in her heart that her mother was too cruel. Even in divorce, she followed her father. Why didn't she even look at her for so many years? He Ling Su also often sees his father, He Hiji hiding in the room alone, holding a picture of his mother, and crying secretly. Thinking about it carefully, during the two years when my mother just left, my father went out several times a year almost every year. Every time I came back, I was very tired, depressed, and embarrassed. These doubts buried deep in her memory were almost forgotten by her. Now that Lu Xing has made such a little bit of dialing, there is a feeling of deep thinking and fear when they are connected in series. 
The most crucial point, the last point in Lu Xing's words was the reason for the rapid collapse of Hijiaxing Shantung's business. It was like a flash of light, suddenly awakening He Lingsu. Yes, the decline of Hijiaxing Shantung seems to have happened in the past ten or twenty years. It started slowly from the time her father took over. Every time you agreed on a new project with a collaborative partner, it would inexplicably fall through, right? Lu Xing further spoke. Looking at He Lingsu, Lu Xing knew that she had believed most of her. This information was all found in the fire resource library in the dream space. Lu Xing raised his hand and called to the waiter, asking him to remove the disc on the table, then ordered twenty of the same steak, and then set his eyes back on He Lingsu. Miss He, don't blame me for investigating too deeply. For a partner who may have a long-term cooperation in the future, a certain understanding is necessary. He links to clearly remembered that at the most exaggerated time, the He family had stores closed almost every day for several months. It stands to reason that even if the management is poor and the product is not competitive, it is not so exaggerated. And the ability of the father himself is clear. He Ling Su had always thought that it was because of his bad luck and bad luck, but now she understands. It turned out that everything was because of a behind-the-scenes driving force. If it's what Lu Xing said, it's the mother's ghost. He Ling Su literally broke out in cold sweat during the day, horrified. He Ling Su took a deep breath and managed to calm down the turbulent heart. What Mr. Lu said will naturally be verified by myself. Let's talk about cooperation. Lu Xing nodded and then said simply, I am responsible for providing prescriptions and corresponding technical guidance, while Xing Shantang is responsible for production and sales. I will take 90% of the final profit. 9%? He Ling Su almost jumped out of the chair. More than a sneer. Why didn't Mr. Lu say he wanted all of them? I think so, but I'm afraid you won't agree. Lu Xing replied. He Ling Su was so angry that his chest rose and fell violently. Lu Xing thought about it and said, What is Miss He's psychological expectation? He Ling Su said without hesitation, 60%, at most 70% for you. That 20% more I am asking is a must, 10% is to guarantee the follow up long term cooperation, and the other one is. Lu Xing smiled slightly and said, Help Miss He deal with some troublesome extra rewards. What do you mean? He Ling Su spoke in a deep voice. The He family has been ruled by the Chen family in Kyoto province for so many years. Doesn't Miss He wants to take revenge and go back? Even if you don't want to. Lu Xing said casually, Can you make sure that they won't come back to you in the future? He Ling Su's face changed drastically. She didn't realize it at all. At this time, in this negotiation, she was completely dominated by the boy opposite who had been eating steak okay, even if I want to, what can you use to guarantee that you can help me get justice from the Chin family? He Ling Su spoke coldly. When Lu Xing heard these words, he suddenly stopped his movements. Then he put his right hand in front of He Ling Su. Look here, Miss He, Lu Xing said softly. He Ling Su was stunned, not knowing what Lu Xing wanted to do. The next second, He Ling Su saw it. He just accidentally knocked over the lemonade poured on the table, and it floated up bit by bit. He Ling Su's eyes widened suddenly, subconsciously trying to exclaim. However, Lu Xing gently stopped him and made a silent gesture. Miss He should understand what this means, right? The lemonade balls turned into irregular shapes in Lu Xing's hands, suddenly boiled, and finally evaporated without a trace. You are a spiritual master. He Ling Su said the word with a blank expression. Re-examining Lu Xing's information, He Ling Su thought, 17-year-old, second-level martial artist, with the highest martial arts talent in Baiha City. Now at a legendary spiritual teacher talent. He Ling Su didn't know what to say. Even if she is not a martial arts practitioner, she knows the weight of this aptitude. Excellent talent coupled with the shrewdness, mentality, and methods that Lu Xing has shown so far. In time, who knows how far Lu Xing will grow? 
Lu Xing retracted his hand and said lightly, Miss he just mentioned, you. It seems that Miss he thinks that this prescription was researched by me. Are you referring to the person behind you? He links a blurted out. Lu Xing said with a smile, Ten percent of the profit, in exchange for me, and the support of the forces behind me. Is there any more cost-effective business in the world? Miss he. He Ling Su's face quickly changed color. If everything is as Lu Xing said, then, sooner or later, she will have to face the Chen family. Even if I don't have any complaints or revenge for my twenty years of experience. But the other party may not be willing to let me go. The cooperative prescription that she and Lu Xing are talking about is the best excuse. He Ling Su still understands the truth. After some choices, he Ling Su finally made up his mind. All right, it's a deal. You will be 90% of the profits. He Ling Su agreed. Lu Xing smiled, then took out a small portable device from his pocket and handed it to He Ling Su. This is the prescription for muscle and blood strengthening decoction. You can find time to register the patent with the pharmacists association. I hope that what Mr. Lu promised will be fulfilled. He Ling Su replied. Feel free to ask me if there is anything you don't understand during the preparation process, and I don't care about the rest. Believe in your ability. Also, I'm going to borrow your pharmacy mixing room recently. You can arrange the time. He Ling Su kept nodding his head. Okay, I'm full. If I have nothing to do, I'll go first. It's a pleasure to work together. Lu Xing stood up, pointed to the twenty empty plates stacked high in front of him and said to He Ling Su, This steak is of good quality. I suggest you try it. He then turns around and leaves. He Ling Su stared blankly at the back of Lu Xing's departure, and stared blankly for a while. Thinking of her careful preparation, but giving up 90% of the benefits in the end, she felt like a dream. This is completely different from what she expected. She felt that from the moment the cooperation was formally negotiated. Lu Xing's aura changed. Become more oppressive, more aggressive, more assertive, and irrefutable. It's as if she's not facing a 17-year-old high school student, but a high-ranking person. Even speaking, it is in a commanding tone. The address for her also changed from Miss He to you. And she still can't give birth to any rebellious heart. As if everything was in order. Mississippi a person's call interrupted He Ling Su's thoughts. He Ling Su looked up and saw that the waiter in the restaurant was standing in front of him. Can you settle the bill, please? He Ling Su was stunned for a moment and immediately realized that Lu Xing wanted her to pay. Although she was a little unhappy, He Ling Su said a little, Yes, how much? The waiter glanced at the bill and said, The total is 115,200 yuan, and the 200 yuan will be a discount for you and the total is 115,000 yuan. He Ling Su was about to pay, but she was stunned when she heard the number. She wondered if she had heard it wrong. How much? 15,000? Yes, Ling Su was so anxious that he almost didn't call out. Didn't he order? 40 stakes in total? The waiter patiently explained, It's 40 stakes, yes, but this gentleman ordered 90 in total. 90 servings? Where did 90 servings come from? He ate 40 servings. He said he was full but he also packed 50 servings and said he would take it home and give it to his family to taste. What? He Ling Su opened his mouth wide and stayed on the spot motionless. Immediately afterward, her breathing began to quicken, her chest rose and fell rapidly, and there seemed to be an animation of flames playing behind her. He Ling Su gritted his teeth and pronounced the name. In the end, she looked helplessly at the waiter in front of him. Do you accept credit cards here? Lu Xing walked slowly back home. It was almost four o'clock in the afternoon. His mother, Xing Yufen, had come home from work early and was preparing dinner. After Lu Xing came back, Xing Yufen dismissed most of her part-time jobs in order to free up more time to cook for him. What did you bring back? Why so many? As soon as Lu Xing entered the door, Xin Yufen smelled an alluring aroma of meat and followed from the kitchen to the living room. 
Lu Xing put the packing box in his hand on the table and said with a smile, Steak, from a high-end restaurant. You don't have to cook at night. Let's eat steak. Tell me if you want to eat steak. I'll go to the market to buy beef and cook it for you. What are you going to buy at the restaurant? It's expensive and the portion is small. How much does it cost? Xing Yufen's face was aching. Lu Xing replied casually. It's not the money I spent, it's a friend's treat, the rich second generation, rich. I don't want to do it, people are anxious with me. He doesn't know how he links you, who had just maxed out his credit card and walked out of the restaurant, would feel this sentence. Jing Yufen's expression suddenly relaxed when she heard it, but she still told him, don't do this in the future, although it was given by others, it's not good to take other people's things for nothing. By the way, Teacher Zhong from your school came by several times to ask how you were doing. Teacher Zhong, it has been a long time since I last went to school. I will go there tomorrow. Lu Xing thought to himself. The next day, after breakfast, Lu Xing took a taxi and headed to Bai Ha High School. In a room, Zhong Jinghua was sitting in his office as usual. Suddenly the office door knocked. Zhong Jinghua opened the door. Who is it? Lu Xing. Seeing Lu Xing at the door made him astonished. He could not believe his eyes. Lu Xing spoke up and said, It's been a while, Teacher Zhong, from the last time we met. I remember ruining your bonsai last time, so I brought a new one for you. How thoughtful. Zhong Jingwa said. But this is really surprising. It has not been long since you were gone. Yet the feeling and pressure you give off is completely different now. Zhong Jinghua is a rank three martial artist. He had gained a lot of experience through fighting exotic beasts in the wilderness. And he can sense that the aura Lu Xing gave off is far more dense than his own. Come let's talk inside. Zhong Jinghua invited Lu Xing into his office. Your school leaves procedure should be done soon. After this meeting, I will only get to see you on the news. Zhong Jinghua lit up a cigarette and said, so, what do you plan to do in the future? I am going to participate in the Morning Star Selection. Then take the assessment at Psychic Mentalist Association. Hearing Lu Xing reply, Zhong Jinghua was stunned. The cigarette dropped from his hand. His eyes were wide open and he could not utter even a single word. He stood up in confusion and started saying repeatedly in a confused and flustered tone, Morning Star Selection, Psychic Master, how? Yes, the chief instructor at the prodigal training camp recommended my name. It was also at training camp that I discovered to possess talent as a psychic master. Lu Xing tried to ease Zhong Jinghua with his explanation. Zhong Jinghua put his hand on his forehead. He could not believe Lu Xing's words. He was in a state of awe and confusion. He got a grip of his emotions instantly and said, Great. How wonderful. There is nothing more that I can teach you. Go forth and do what you want. Make your own mark in this world. Thank you, Teacher Zhong. I will always remember your words. Lu Xing replied to Zhong's words. Later after some time, Lu Xing left after saying goodbyes. I was still underestimating him. Not only that kid is the pride of Baiha High School, but he will also become the pride of all mankind. Inside Lu Xing's classroom, the head teacher Hong Jianjun is lecturing students on cultural studies. But everyone in the classroom is busy with their own matters, some sleeping or some playing games on their phones. The head teacher sighed at the morale of his students and shouted loudly, Wake up. Come back to life. I tell you, don't underestimate the grades in the culture class. I know that many of you have applied for the Wuhan University entrance exam, but don't forget, the culture class grades are also counted into the martial arts score. Sometimes it may be just one point short, and you will miss your favorite wuda. This point is converted into blood value, and you may spend weeks or even months exercising. But if it's on the cultural class side, it's a matter of several big topics. The head teacher Hong Jianjun stood on the podium, and the students below were drowsy. When will get out of class be over? Under the podium, a thin, white boy wearing glasses mumbled listlessly. 
then reached out and poked a little fat man in the seat next to him. Lu Chiming, do you want to go online after school? I'm almost platinum. The little fat man turned his head, shook his head, and said, I'm not going, you guys can go. I signed up for a martial arts sprint class, and I have to go for extra training after school. Why are you working so hard lately? It's not like you anymore. Brother, the college entrance examination is coming soon. I really don't want to go to the construction site to move bricks after graduation. The skinny boy was about to say a few words, but the cold voice of the head teacher Hong Jianjun came from the podium. Zhu Xingji, Lu Qiming, you two stand up for me. The thin white boy and the little fat man suddenly looked bitter and stood up dawdlingly. He originally thought that a reprimand and education from the head teacher would be inevitable, but he never thought that someone suddenly waved at the head teacher at the door of the classroom. Teacher Hong, I am back. A voice from the entrance of the class. Hello everyone, it's been a while. Lu Xing waved at his classmates with a smile. In the next second, the entire class burst into a fierce discussion, and everyone was boiling. Fuck. I heard right, Lu Xing is back to class? He came back to see us specially. God, I thought I would never see him again. I heard that Lu Xing was accepted by the head of the Wushu Association as a closed-door disciple, and he practiced hard every day on the top floor of the Wushu Association building, ready to hit the Grand Master Realm. I heard that the mayor wanted to marry the daughter of Lu Xing, but Lu Xing refused because he wanted to concentrate on martial arts and prepare for the college entrance examination. Signature It's so easy to see Lu Xing once. Be sure to ask him to sign. For a while, the huge classroom was noisy and chaotic, and everyone was rummaging through boxes. Lu Qiming also sat there dazedly watching Lu Xing. Classmates, welcome the return of Lu Xing. The head teacher Hong Jianjun strode onto the podium and said loudly with a red face. Mr. Hong Lu Xing turned to look at Hong Jianjun and said, I want to take another cultural class at the end. Is that okay? Hong Jianjun was stunned for a moment, and then his face with a national character quickly turned red, so excited that he was almost incoherent. Yes, of course. Thank you, Mr. Hong. Lu Xing stepped off the podium and found his seat. In the following time, Hong Jianjun seemed to be twenty years younger. He was excited and frustrated on the podium, using both hands and feet and gave one of the most outstanding lessons in his teaching career and the students in class five have never listened so carefully before. Lu Xing sat on his old desk and started listening to the lecture. The desk made it of Lu Xing was high-spirited, before they did not even bet an eye on Lu Xing due to his low chi value, but now he had become a star of Baiha City. Is this for real? I can still get to attend classes with Lu Xing. His aura is really amazing. Is he still the same year as us? The students kept gossiping about him the whole time. Lu Qiming was also in a trance. The radiant and handsome young man in front of him was completely different from the ordinary best friend he remembered. He felt as if something was rapidly moving away from him, vanishing, utterly unstoppable. The bell for the end of class rang once, and students from other classes came out, unexpectedly seeing the silence in class five, only the sound of lectures echoing in the corridor. Hong Jianjun swears that he has never been so beautiful and reluctant to say these two words. Hong Jianjun looked at a certain position under the podium, and the students in class five also looked at that position. The bright boy sitting in the seat stood up and walked up to the podium to take a glance at the whole class. Lu Xing seems to be trying to keep every face here in mind. Then I'll go first, see you all. In the next second, the entire class burst into a fierce discussion, and everyone was boiling. It is the first time I am feeling honored that I get to be someone's classmate. Someone said I have to live up to the glory of being Lu Xing's classmate. Before leaving Lu Xing moved towards Lu Qiming. He patted Lu Qiming's shoulder lightly, and leaned down, and whispered in Lu Qiming's ear, Come on, if you have time, let's get together. Lu Qiming was struck by lightning, he couldn't help shaking slightly. 
He looked at the back of the boy leaving and swore in his heart that even if he is desperate, exhausted, he must also get admitted to Wuhan University. Back in his house, Lu Xing sat down at the desk, thinking about the next plan. Tomorrow, I will let He Ling Su buy the materials to prepare blood strengthening decoction and marrow nourishing pill. These two tonics have special effects on strengthening muscles and bones, and they are also the most cost effective. As long as there are enough quantities, they should be enough for me to eat level 4. Then there is the matter of the spiritual master weapon Lu Xing kept browsing on his computer. Because Lu Xing has not conducted a formal spiritual teacher assessment, he cannot log into the star network. Psychic Association is similar to the website of the martial artist's home that Lu Xing visited once after he obtained the official martial artist qualification. A small circle dedicated to spiritual masters. Find time to test the spiritual master before the selection of the general star of Qiming, otherwise I can't trouble Dong Qingxu every time, and it's easy to expose my own secrets. Lu Xing made up his mind secretly. Lu Xing clicked on the emails sent by Dong Qingxue, which contained a clean and refreshing form. It lists the price, detailed introduction, and so on of each spiritual teacher weapon material that Lu Xing wants to know. Lu Xing took a closer look. The materials he asked Dong Qingxue to inquire about were mainly from two weapons. One is the endless knife wheel, and the other is the silver air shuttle. The names of these two weapons also represent the corresponding mental combat skills. Five minutes later, Lu Xing's expression was a little disappointed. It's too expensive to buy it all. Eternal Blade was priced at $37.5 million. Lu Xing now finally knows why when Dong Qingxu had put the 5 million bonus in front of him, he told him not to think too little, mainly because of sincerity and the like. At first, Lu Xing thought that it might be Dong Qingdu and Qin Shaojuan's extraordinary family backgrounds, and their vision was too high, so he thought 5 million was very little. Only now it turns out that 5 million is really very little. The second weapon was priced at $29.5 million. Just to calculate the main material required to make the knife wheel and shuttle, dense iron, which consumes the most, requires 9,100 grams nearly 10,000. A piece of knife will must weigh a pound, it's already more than 5 million. Not counting other auxiliary materials. Nor can I just build one blade. Moreover, the quality of my spiritual power is far superior to that of my peers. The ordinary dense iron knife will may be too light to use. It is best to use a higher quality dense silver. That would cost more. The price of dense silver of the same quality is ten times that of dense iron. It's too exaggerated. Lu Xing calculated it and found that he couldn't even build a set of spiritual weapons, not to mention building a set of spiritual weapons. There is no way. I have no money and I can only dig in the wild by myself. Thank goodness, I have found this strategic resource distribution map in the Fire Seed repository. This will come in handy. Earlier, Lu Xing found a map of strategic material resources for 300 years of martial arts from the Fire Resource Library, which came in handy now. He found an unexcavated mineral mine in the Oxhead Mountain Range pointed on the map. Lu Xing frowned and said to himself, It's unrealistic to dig all of it. It's better to dig a part to buy a part, gather all the materials and then entrust a blacksmith to build it its best to find mithril silver or mithril iron, the main materials will be ready, and other auxiliary materials are easy to handle. And if you find enough mithril silver or mithril iron, you can sell them for money, killing two birds with one stone. Lu Xin cleared his mind and breathed a sigh of relief. A week later, at Xingshan Hall near the entrance of the medicine mixing room, He Ling Su stood at the door and waited anxiously checking his watch from time to time. That Lu Xing fellow. Why is he still not here? Suddenly the door to the hall opened. He Ling Su was instantly refreshed, and even his back straightened unconsciously. Lu Xing's figure appeared at the door. Sorry I have kept you waiting. You still remember to come? 
I was held up by something. Have you prepared all the materials that I requested? Lu Xing, who was dressed in snow-white pharmacist's clothes, was tall and straight. His face was calm, and his more handsome facial features gave a calm, rigorous, and charming temperament against the background of the pharmacist's clothes. Although he knew that Lu Xing was five years younger than him, He Ling Su was still in a trance and felt a heartbeat. Yes, they have all been prepared as you instructed. He Ling Su came back to his senses and covered his slightly hot cheeks by speaking quickly. Lu Xing nodded and took off his gloves and pharmacist's clothes. How much did this batch of materials cost? About two hundred thousand. He Ling Su replied. Lu Xing said lightly, First keep the account, and then deduct it from the profit. Yes, He Ling Su habitually responded in a subordinate's tone. There was helplessness in my heart. Well then I will begin. Miss He could you please go out for a moment? Lu Xing asked He Ling Su, as he does not want He Ling Su to know the prescription for making this medicine. He Ling Su nodded obediently, and did not ask Lu Xing. Then I'll go first. The sale of the new drug has not yet begun, and the profit has not yet been affected. After this week, she has spent nearly one million in advance to Lu Xing. If it weren't for the other parties or a being too strong, she would not dare to say a word if she stood in front of Lu Xing. And she also successfully used the prescription to formulate the perfect muscle-strengthening decoction. It is estimated that she could not resist rebelling long ago. Some hours later, as He Ling Su was waiting outside the lab a voice came, All right, Miss He, I am all done. Lu Xing seemed to see He Ling Su's small emotions and comforted him casually. Don't worry, I will go out in the next two days. If it goes well, the startup capital for the listing of muscle strengthening decoction should be there. I will call you. He Ling Su just shook her head in reply to Lu Xing and did not say any further. What a temper you have got. Lu Xing said with a smile, which annoyed He Ling Su more. Lu Xing greeted He Ling Su and left quickly. He Ling Su didn't wait for Lu Xing's back to disappear completely. She took a deep breath and quickly rushed into the lab room. There was a faint scent of medicine in the air of the mixing room. He Ling Su's eyes searched around like radar, and soon, she locked on a small medicine bottle that had been used and had not been cleaned. He Ling Su almost threw himself in front of the medicine bottle. There was clearly some black powder remaining on the bottom of the completely transparent vial He Ling Su picked up the small medicine bottle like a treasure and carefully took out the black powder inside. Then start a series of skilled operations. Pharmacological analysis, efficacy analysis, and pharmacological analysis after half an hour, the results came out. He Ling Su raised his head in front of the analytical instrument and said to himself with a complicated expression, Sure enough, it's still that mysterious drug. He has been formulating this medicine for the past week. This mysterious medicine with black powder is the second treasure he Ling Su found in Lu Xing, and it is a huge treasure far beyond muscle strengthening decoction. After the efficacy analysis, he Ling Su found that the effect of this black powder medicine is several times stronger than that of Lingji Zhuangxue decoction. A lot of messy effects are missing, but an extremely powerful effect is added. Lu Xing has been making them for a whole week, and I don't know how much he made. I don't know how many fake materials that confuse the audience are mixed in the cost raw materials, and it only costs a total of one million yuan. Deliberately tempting He Ling Su to find out on her own, Cause her heart to be scratched like a cat scratching. He Ling Su is so angry. He definitely did it on purpose. Asterisk He Ling Su gritted his teeth and said, Lu Xing made it clear that he wanted to tell her that he had a lot of cherished prescriptions in his hand, and as long as she was obedient, there would be opportunities for cooperation in the future. Miss He. Ma Fei came in. Any gains? No. Ma Fei shook his head helplessly. I've been staring at the monitoring all the time. The monitoring is broken all the way, and it can't be repaired even if I find someone to fix it. As soon as Lu Xing leaves, it will return to normal immediately. He Ling Su sighed, nodded, and said I knew it would be like this. 
Lu Xing is a spiritual teacher, and he can make He Ling Su's methods all invalid at will so that He Ling Su can completely cut off the idea of stealing learning. She kept on looking at the vial for some time. Forget it, let's follow him honestly, no matter what, the He family finally has hope of reemergence. He Ling Su shook his head and threw the medicine bottle in his hand into the trash can. That's all for today. If you like the next part of this manhwa just comment below. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for getting epic content on this channel. See you next time.